glory to Jesus Christ. And we're uh, in this Christmas time, an Epiphany time and New Year time. So I'm, I'm looking at the book, The Life of Til Kepnaye, pardon my pronunciation, a 12 month study of native Chaldean Catholics in their hometown of Til Kepe by Father Michael J. Bazi. which was uh, published by Jet in the Light, or Let in the Light, rather, www.letinthelightpublishing.com, San Diego, California, 2021, edited by Sally Addis and covered by Amy Gregorio. Let in, uh, 2021 Let in the Light Publishing in collaboration with Bazi Publishing by Father Michael J. Bazi. And this, uh, if you're interested, the Library of Congress number is 202092501, and the ISBN number is 978-1-941464-427. And... Uh, I got written permission from the author to read this, so that's good. So, on page 17 about Christmas. In this month, Sem Tikep Naye fast, that's the, this is before the Advent, basically, before, before Christmas in December. So, Tikep Naye fast from dairy products and meat for 24 days. There are some who fast seven days, some who fast three days, and some who fast on the day before the Feast of Christmas. During the week before the Feast of Christmas, Chaldeans make flatbread and kuleche, bread filled with rice and raisins. And they sew, or they buy new clothes, and they prepare charatze, or roast mixed nuts, oranges, and sweet lemons. Again, forgive my pronunciation. In the evening of the small feast, that is Christmas as opposed to the great feast of Easter, people here attend the great Vespers, the e evening prayer. They wait until midnight mass. The alleys of the town shake from the voice of the well-wishers who cry out in joy, the Lord is born. <coughs> and the respondents say, glory to his name. Before the beginning of the Mass, they burn torches in the yard of the church before the manger of the baby Jesus. After Mass, they return in a hurry to the house, and the mother takes out from the tanore, the stewing jar, of kre'e, again, forgive my pronunciation, beef tripe, barley and sheep intestines filled with rice and ground beef. Mm. They sit down and eat happily after midnight, and in the morning, they distribute haratze, oranges, and money for small children. On the day after Christmas, all the alleys of the town are filled with brides who slept during the feast day in their fathers, that is, parents' homes. The brides will be turned to their husbands, carrying their clothes in bundles, singing, The feast is over, and there is no more mindane, another word for Haretz, Harar har, Aze, which is the, um, what is it, the, the bread, flat bread, I think. Where is it? It says what it is here. Beep, 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 beep. I've lost it. Okay. From the earlier, the feast is over, there is no more min dane. We are going to be stuck with the in-laws. Mm. From the early times until the beginning of the 20th century, Tilkep Naya lit their houses with the light of a lamp of linseed oil or olive oil. However, after the first quarter of the 20th century, 
They began using oil lamps, lanterns they filled with fuel and lit them. In the beginning for cooking in paya, small mud oven, they used to burn dry cow dung and dry sheep dung. For the baking of bread in the tan tanore, the large oven for baking bread, they burnt hay and straw. However, from the second half of the 20th century, electricity emerged into all homes and gave light, fire, heat, for cooking and heating cold water and radio, telephone, and the computer. And of chapter two, the events of January. This is page 20. The Christian year starts on the first day of the month of January. On this day, Christian Chaldeans celebrate the feast of the circumcision of our Lord, eight days after his birth. Our Lord named Jesus, whose translation means Savior, was circumcised six days after the feast of the new year, the feast of the Epiphany, that is, the manifestation of Jesus to the world, occurs. When our Lord was aged 30, St. John the Baptist baptized him in the River Jordan. Most till kept nigh wait for this feast to baptize their children and share with the joy of the baptism of the Lord. After this day, Jesus started the three final years of his life, preaching and teaching until the crucifixion. He died, arose, and ascended into heaven. After the Feast of Epiphany, Memorial Days, memorials of one or more of the martyrs and saints occur every Friday through January and February. The first Friday is dedicated to the memorial of the killing of St. John the Baptist. The second Friday occurs the memorial of the martyrdom of Saints Peter and Paul. On the third Friday occurs the memorial of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The memorial of the martyrdom of St. Stephen occurs on the fourth Friday. On the fifth Friday occurs the memorial of the Greek teachers, the fathers, St. Basil, St. Gregory, and St. John and their friends. On the sixth Friday, the Chaldean Church remembers the memorial of the Syrian fathers, St. Ephraim and St. Jacob of Nisibis, James of Nisibis there. Also on this Friday, the Chaldean Church remembers the Roman teachers, St. Ambrose and St. Augustine and St. Jerome. On the seventh Friday comes the memorial of the patron of all the Chaldean Church, which is the memorial of one individual person. So we'll start there. On the last, the eighth Friday, the Chaldean Church remembers those who died. On this day, Chaldeans eat turnovers filled with either rice or dates. And after Mass, the faithful go to the cemetery, literally the home of tombs, to visit the dead and pray memorial prayers for them. So that's that. So again, this is the life of Tilkepnaya. Again, for, forgive my pronunciation. A 12-month study of native Chaldean Catholics in their hometown of Kilkepe by Father Michael J. Bazi. And so, the life of Tilkepnaya. This is the cover, the back cover. I invite you to your reader to come with me to my beloved city of Kilkepe to get to know the daily life, the way of life of its indigenous Chaldean Catholics who lived in it. We will take a close look at how they celebrate holidays, seasons, weddings, and religious, social, and economic customs and practices on a monthly basis throughout the year. I have divided the book into 12 chapters. Each chapter examines one month. I explore some of the things that were happening at Kilkepe Till Kepe, and I bring back the unforgettable memories of everyone who lived in it. I hope that others will join me in writing and expanding the limited literature available today, so that all these memories remain a treasure in the heart of all the faithful, keeping them connected to their beloved city. Father Michael ba J. Bazi, emeritus, was born and raised in the lovely village of Till Kepe, Iraq. Father Bazi was ordained a priest in Baghdad in 1964 and earned a master's degree from the Lateran University in Rome in 1974. Father Michael has served the Catholic Church in Kiltepe, 
in Wisconsin, Michigan, and California. Professor Bazzi has also been an instructor of modern and classical Aramaic at Cuyamaca College since 1989. The Life of Tilke is Bazzi's 13th book and is a follow-up to his early book. Tilkepe, Tilkepe rather, past and present. So that's that, that's what that book is. Well, thank you very much. Let's pray to our Father and the Father, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll give a wave there. Bye now.